Hello friends, Tony here. Now in this video I'm going to uh, fix all of the tables we have for state. I'm going to remove this search for specific column here for the country. I'm going to show also the name here. On the country we need to display the name, also the code and maybe the phone code. For the city I'm going to display the state name. And for the department here, we have the name. I'm going to display the count of uh, the employees this department has, for example. And also we can go to the employees and hide some, uh, so for example, the date of birth, zip code or the address. I'm going to hide the address. And because as you can see now we need to scroll to see all the table so I'm going to fix that and let's start with the state so here we worked in the previous video so I'm going to open again the state resource and here we are inside the table we have the name country name which we added a searchable and is individual to true but I'm going to remove this I'm going to say just searchable and remove two parameters here. Also for the text name. And I'm going to remove this visible because we don't need to hide that. And we have a created that and updated that toggle label and is toggled hidden by default to be true which in my case is okay. Now if I save this and come here and refresh, I think we are okay here. If we go now to city, here we have the name and let's do the same. Let's display the state name. But as you can see here, we have this also this uh, view. And if we click here, we navigate the city's view. If we go to state and we have only the edit and also if I click we navigate to the edit and we need to call an action here so if I open we have actions and here on the state resource we have only the edit action if I open now the city resource and scroll down when we have actions as you can see we have also the view action and if I copy this and add that one also on the actions here on state and save let's refresh and if I click now here yeah we show here the form we're going to fix that later we're going to fix all for all the tables now let's uh, navigate to the city and fix the state okay so here we have the state ID but I'm going to say state dot notation and I want to display the name of the state let's open also the city model to see if we have a relationship for state yeah we are okay let's close and I'm going to remove the numeric here Let's add also a searchable here. So I'm going to searchable. Toggle label is hidden and updated data, create data. Okay. Let's save and let's come here and let's refresh. Yeah, we have the state name here and also we can show the created that and updated that good let's navigate the department and as i said here i want to display the count of the employees belong to this department so let's close this and close this and open the department resource here we have the name and created that and updated that but also i'm going to add tables backslash columns backslash and here I'm going to add a text column text column 
called the static make method and I'm going to make this for the relationship and let's open also the department model we have employees here so let's say employees underscore count and I'm going to say count counts of employees and let's save this yeah we need to add also comma here and let's say let's come here and refresh as you can see we have employees count and here for this one we have one zero one good let's navigate now to the employees also let's see the users i think we are okay for users we have the name email and email verify that and also the created that and updated that now let's navigate to employees and here i want to display the first name last name with the remove the middle name and address i'm going to leave the zip code and the date hired remove the date of birth so let's close this close this and let's open the employee resource and uh, yeah also we can make them toggle label so let's copy this and add it also on the, the date of birth and as i said remove the date of birth remove the address and middle name so also on the address i'm going to add toggle able and on the middle name let's save let's come here and let's refresh yeah now we have the first name and last name the zip code and the date higher but let's show also the country this or for yeah the country name for that i'm going to open the state and copy there just to save some time so here we have and the same is going to be also for the employees so i'm going to add first the country save come here and refresh and yeah we have country albania albania and then first name last name zip code and date hired now we have sortable for country let's make uh, also for the first name so let's say here first name i'm going to make it sortable and we have searchables for country name first name uh, last name middle name address zip code and so on yeah let's refresh now here if we want we can show also the middle name the address date of birth created that and updated that and then we need to scroll to see all of them let's hide all of them okay now let's navigate to the country and i'm going to copy this one here close and let's open the country resource and here we have table and paste that in this is going to be for the name it's going to be searchable then we add also for the code and also for the phone code now phone phone code is numeric so i'm going to say numeric here and let's save come here and refresh and yeah we have the name the code and the phone code which is numeric here and we can search now i'm going to remove this sort table for the phone code we can search for name and for the code also so for example if i say for the a r here we have also for the Argentina here 
and then clean this now if you want to display also the created ad and so on let's navigate to the state again just to copy very quick the created ad and updated ad so copy that and paste it here save refresh now we have also the columns for created ad and updated ad here okay friends that's it all about this video just to fix all the tables how i want it and i hope you enjoy and don't forget if you like such a video subscribe to my channel share with your friends and like this video because it's going to help me to rank on youtube all the best see you in the next one